saw a quote from the Encyclopedia Britannica in 1911 edition in which it talks about the Jews wanting to revive the Hebrew language as a spoken language and the Encyclopedia Britannica article says that there's about as much hope of the revival of the Hebrew language actually it says there's even less hope of the revival of the Hebrew language than of the Zionist dream of the revival of a Jewish empire in the Middle East 1911 of course at that time there were about 50,000 Jews in Israel 1948 72 years ago there were 600,000 Jews in Israel most of them speaking Hebrew in 1967 two and a half million Jews in Israel today on the eve of the 72nd anniversary of the founding of the state of Israel Yom Atzmut Independence Day we have approximately a population of about 9 million people in Israel about 7 million Jews that is mind-boggling Hebrew is now the language the everyday language of millions of people scientific papers published in Hebrew newspapers published in Hebrew an army run in the Hebrew language um, not a Hebrew that most civilians would understand but nevertheless in Hebrew it's an incredible incredible thing the revival of the national and independent and state life of the Jewish people in our times hundreds of years ago you needed a lot of faith to believe in the redemption if you were a Jew living 500 years ago just after the expulsion from Spain someone would have told you that there will be a independent Jewish state in the land of Israel with millions of Jews from every single country in the world living in Israel speaking Hebrew thousands of people studying Torah thousands of people thousands of yeshivas in Israel etc that you would have told them there'll be an army a Hebrew speaking army in which the kitchens are kosher kosher in which there are Sifrei Torah delivered to the bases etc for, for laning on Monday and Thursday etc it's it's mind-boggling for us we don't need a lot of faith because we see with our own eyes the fulfillment of the prophets the Nevi'im who predicted that there'll be an ingathering of the exiles who predicted a flowering of agriculture in the land of Israel who predicted a population explosion of Jews in the land of Israel with prosperity etc etc industry agriculture and so on and so forth you don't need a lot of faith it is true we're not there yet we've got a long way to go and this is not of course the ideal that the prophets were looking at in terms of the messianic ideal but it's about as close as we've come and after 2,000 years of exile the idea that we are have the ability to live in the land of Israel we have the ability we have independence we have a Jewish government and so on and so forth that is actually something which if we think about that for a few seconds and think about it in comparison to history and what we have gone through in the past couple of thousand years you will see that you do not lead a lot of faith today just a little bit of faith as the Talmud says if God says to the Jewish people if you just have a little opening like the eye of a needle I will create an opening like the entrance to a ballroom so that's our hope that as we celebrate the 72nd anniversary of the founding of the state of Israel we look forward to a time when the messianic era when the Mashiach will be here when the redemption will be complete and the uh, the national homeland of the Jewish people will also be our central spiritual and holy homeland fulfillment of all the words of the prophets throughout our history this is Mordechai Becher with the Gateways Parsha Vlog Thank you.